Hello crafters and welcome to Creative Moments by G. I'm G and today we have a fun card for you. Ma, let me show you something. What does this have to do with the card we are going to make? We will be working with this really neat stamping up stamp set called Sweet Citrus. Now we're going to make this fantastic card today. Here's what it looks like. Look at this. We have our acetate right here. You open it up and oh my goodness, look at that beautiful background. So pretty. Now make sure you stay with us to the end because we have three more templates to show you. So let's head down to the crafting table and let's get started. Now, here is that really nice stamp set. And what's so great about it, when you buy the bundle, it comes with the dies, so no more fussy cutting. And if you are interested in getting this, then head on over to creativemomentsbyg.com because that's where we have all the supplies and all the dimensions for the card that we're gonna make today. And by the way, if you don't have a catalog, Maudie and I would love to send you one, so just email us. The first thing you need to do is go ahead and cut a top fold card. Now we have ours already cut. We're going to bring in our trimmer and we're just going to take the top part and we're going to trim it to four inches. So let's do that. And now we just have this little bitty flap right on the top, right? Well, we're gonna take this extra piece and we're gonna go ahead and cut it down to two inches. And that will give us our bottom piece. Now, I'm gonna move this to the side. I'm gonna bring in my piece of acetate and I already cut it to the size of the card. And we are just going to glue it right down to the card. So this flap, you need to go ahead and get you some glue and just put it right here. Now, push this right up to your score line, right there on your card, and just fold this over. And we're just gonna hold it for good contact. This makes such an adorable card, and you can use this template with any stamp set that you have. It is just that pretty. Now on this one right here, we're going to add it to the very bottom of that acetate piece. And so just grab you some glue. And there we have it. And now we need to go ahead and cut our mats for the front of the paper. Now we have picked some beautiful stripes. We want it to be a first mat, so we're going to cut it at four. And we only need it to be one and a fourth. And let's see how that fits. Look, that fits perfectly. Look at that. So now we need the piece for this bottom piece right here, and we know that this is two inches wide, so we are going to cut this at one and three-fourths. And let's make sure that lines up perfectly. So we have our top piece, and we have our bottom piece. So let's go ahead and get those laid down. making sure that you have the same border all the way around. Okay, now we are going to add our lemons and our leaves right here. So let's bring in our paper so that we can stamp. Now we wanna make sure this is a nice, rich color. So we're going to bring in our Stamparatus. You can use any stamping machine that you have. And let's go ahead and make sure this is pushed up all the way to the corner right here. And I'm going to bring in our stamp and just line it up right like this. 
Now we are going to use the Stampin' Up! ink pads. We're going to use Crushed Curry, Mango Melody, Garden Green, and Old Olive. And to stamp our sentiment, we're going to bring in Night of Navy, only because I like how dark it is. Let's go ahead and bring in our Crushed Curry for the inside of our lemon. Let's take the ink pad to the stamp. Press it down, and it's always a good idea as a tip to have your stamp case underneath this lid. So tap, tap, tap. We're going to stamp one more time. Nice and dark. Okay, so we're gonna remove that, and now we're gonna bring in our frame. So let's just get that lined up gonna have to move it out. And we're moving it out because we are not utilizing this lemon right here. So let's just get that lined up. And now we're going to bring in our Mango Melody. Nice and dark. Now let's go ahead and stamp our leaves that we're going to need. And we are going to stamp Garden Green and Old Olive. We are in the zone today with all this creativity we have, like I said, stay with us because we have three more templates to show you that you can use on this stamp set or really any stamp set that you have. So I'm going to use our dies, get this cut out. Okay, and here we have our images cut out. We have our leaves and we are going to bring in our card. Now, there's a couple tips I want to share with you. Because we're using this one and it's going up over this acetate, you don't want to put glue on this because it will show through right here. So what we're going to do is just put our glue right on the bottom part of this lemon. We're going to glue the first one down, making sure that it doesn't go over this the side of this card right here. So let's just line that up. We have it right like that. Now this one we're gonna raise up on dimensionals because we wanna slip our leaves underneath it. So let's get a dimensional and we really only need two. And let's get this laid down about right here. And now we're gonna come in with our leaves. Now, another tip for this, make sure that when you put the glue on these leaves, you don't see it on this acetate because it can really make a mess and you'll be able to see it on the other side and we don't want that. So we're just going to put a little bit of glue right down here and just put it right there. Now we're gonna bring in a darker leaf making sure not to go over this edge. Now, what we're going to do inside is we are going to take a piece of granny apple green and we are going to create this beautiful background. Now look at this. Look how beautiful that is. So let me get some granny apple green. Now we need to cut this as a first mat. So we're going to cut it at four and five and a fourth. Now we have an Instagram reel on this technique, but this is a great technique. Go ahead and take your water and just give this a liberal spray of water. So we'll put that down, move this to the side. Just 
Just spray one side and then spray the other and really rub in that water. And now run this through your boss. And this is going to give you a really deep impression. And now for the big reveal. Look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? Now you wanna make sure this dries so you can take your heating tool to it to get it really dry. You can take a, a, a blow dryer to it to make sure that it's really dry before you put it down in your card. But this one is dry, so we're going to just adhere it to our card. Now because this is a 3D embossing folder, you wanna make sure you really get the glue down into those crevices. And look at the front of that card. Now we are not done yet because we are going to take our Wink of Stella and we are just going to put a little bit of Wink of Stella on the rind on the inside of the lemon right here and right here just to give it that extra color. So we're just very carefully adding it. just to create a little sparkle. Now look at that sparkle. So pretty. Now we still need to go ahead and add our sentiment, so we're gonna add that on a strip. And like I said, we are going to stamp it with Knight of Navy, give us a really rich, stamp sentiment. So tap, tap, tap. Just gonna add this right here. And then we're gonna fussy cut it out. Now let's put it up on some dimensionals and put it right on the top of our card. We're going to use many dimensionals because it's a small sentiment. Just take the back off and add it to the top. Now, you can write on the back of this card, but look how pretty this looks. Take a moment and let me know what you think about this card. But remember I said we have several other templates to show you, so let me show you those as well. Look at this beautiful card. We simply stamped all our images in a variety of colors and then used our dies, cut them out, and added them to the front of the card. Love this one, so vibrant. Now look at this one. This is the matted background where we ran it through the embossing folder. And yes, we added the water to it just to give it that really deep impression. And look at this. We added these up on dimensionals. And we used a technique. We used our daubers on the actual stamp to color it just a little bit to shade it even more. And we have one more that we actually created a wreath. We stamped all our lemons, we cut them out, and we cut a circle, and then we just bordered that circle with our lemons and the flowers that come with the stamp set, and then these little sprigs of greenery. So take a moment, which is your favorite? Thank you so much for sharing your time with us. We hope you love this sweet citrus as much as we do. Let us know in your comments below. I want you to go out and make it a fantastic day. Remember, give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.